Hello everyone. In this video, we will understand the concept of super keyword. Super keyword. In this also, we have the concept of inheritance. We just completed inheritance. So before starting this session, you must have knowledge of inheritance. So inheritance means parent class is there and child class. Child can inherit properties of parent class by just writing a keyword called extends and the name of the parent class. So here, let's say I'm creating one constructor so I can write public name of the constructor and class name should be same. So parent and here I can type any message. So system dot out dot println. So I will type parent constructor. So I created one constructor, which is by default constructor, parent constructor. And here I'll go to the child class and I'm going to create object of child. Guys, you must know the concept of constructors also. So constructor will be called whenever we create object of the class. So here I'll write new child and refer it with variable. So here, child obj assign this. When we execute it, my constructor will be called. Now let's see which constructor gonna get called. Look at this, parent constructor. How JVM will work in this case? So when JVM will read one object is created, it will go to the class. And then it will read, okay, this class is extending parent. It will go to the parent class, read its by default constructor and display it to you. So the first thing that will be called is when you are creating an object, default constructor. Now, if that class is independent class, it will call default constructor of this class. But if the class is extending parent, JVM will go to the parent class and look for the default constructor, which I've told you guys, all the classes will have by default hidden default constructor. We need not to create it. I'm creating it because I want to pass some message here, but if I'll comment it also, still it will come to the parent class. So look at this, when I execute it, it's not displaying me anything. Now how execution worked? First, it will come to the main method. In main method, JVM will read, okay, one of the object is created. It will go to the child class and read, okay, this class is extending parent. Go to parent, executes its default constructor. Now default constructor is not displaying anything. That's why you are not seeing anything here. So this is how the sequence of execution is. Now let's say I create constructor in this class also. So I will write public child system dot out dot println. And here I will write constructor from child. Let's execute this again. Look at this. First, it will come to this method, call the constructor. It's going to call by default constructor of the parent. So it will go to parent, display does parent constructor. So it will execute this constructor by default constructor. Guys, by default constructors are those constructors we don't have parameters. So it will call by default constructor of parent first, then we'll go to child and display you child's class constructor. So this is what the sequence of execution is there when there is a relation between child and parent. Now, let's say in my parent class, I'm going to create a constructor with parameters. So I'll write public parent. int i and here system dot 
out dot println parent value is so here i'm just going to put it in strings and value i so i'm concatenating i with the string so guys if you want to concatenate any variable with some line which you want to pass from your side you can use plus as a concatenation operator okay so now i'll go to this child class so now i want to call parameterize constructor of parent because i know when i'm calling any object i'm creating any object it's going to go to the parent class and call for the default constructor but i want to call parent class parameterize constructor explicitly so if we want to do so we can use a keyword called super whenever the moment you will write a super keyword it will refer to the parent class constructor so here if i want to pass any value like in my constructor it's parameterized i can pass any integer value here so i will write let's say 100 and let's execute it and see how it works look at this parent value is 100 which is coming from my parent class look at this so parent value is 100 i'm going to give space after this so that it get appended here so parent value is i passed 100 in my child class in super keyword so super keyword is to refer parent class constructor and you can pass value in super keyword for this parameter it will first go to the parent constructor and then it will read that you have written super super means you want to call constructor of the parent class and then first this will be executed and the next line in the constructor will be executed let's say if you have created constructor with two parameters let's say here integer okay so here you can write same line control c control v and here i want to say k okay. parent second value is this so in child class see this is giving me error now now this started giving me error because i need to pass two values according to my parameterized constructor so here i'm passing 200 look at this now i execute it parent value is 100 parent second value is 200 and then the next line will be executed so first super keyword will go to my parameterized constructor execute it and then it will come to child constructors next set of lines whatever you have written after that will be executed values will be passed from here to parents parameterized constructors parameters here so i will be given 100 and k will be given 200 so this is how super keyword works so super keyword is to call parent class constructor in child class if it has parameters you can pass value here if there is no parameters you can let's say if i want to execute it empty and the parent constructor is called that means constructor without parameter it is displaying me parent constructor so super keyword super keyword is used to call constructor of parent class